This is Chris Medeo. Was like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Medeo's, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my WWE NXT 2.0, uh, February 15th, uh, 2022 review. Um, and it was Vengeance Day, so it was NXT Vengeance Day. And the first match that kicked off uh, Vengeance Day was the one-on-one -on -one match uh, between Pete Dunne and Tony D'Angelo in a weaponized steel cage match. It was a pretty good match. The match lasted about, mm, like, about 13 minutes or something, 15 minutes around that time. It was a pretty good match between the two. I'll give this match a uh, three out of five stars. It was a good match. Uh, of course, he had the steel cage, and then the weapons that was in it was like a steel chair, tables, trash cans, crowbars, all that stuff, toolboxes and all that. Um, at one point in this match, we seen uh, Tony hit the uh, superplex onto uh, Pete Dunn off the top of the steel cage. And then at one point in this match, you're like Pete Dunn was going to win it when, uh, when he hit the uh, paddle across... Tony D'Angelo's back, and then his bitter end onto him, pinned him, he kicked out at two, and then at one point, Tony D'Angelo almost won the match where he had a low blow onto uh, Pete Dunne, and then uh, he has finished a move, I think it was like a fisherman suplex, it looks like, it looks like the perfect plex, pretty much, but yeah, he, that's what he hit on him, and then uh, Pete Dunne barely kicking out at two, and it was using a lot of moves, like at one point, uh, Tony got hit with a buckle bomb through a table by Pete Dunne. But at the very end of this match, we seen Tony grab a uh, crowbar. And Pete Dunne pretty much grabbed a crowbar from, like, on the side of a ring post. Like, wedged into the steel cage or whatever. He grabs that. And then, uh, while Tony didn't even see it, Pete Dunne then hit him in the stomach with it. And then hits him upside the back of the head with it. And then picks him up at his bitter, uh, bitter end onto him but this time on like the broken piece of a table laying him out and then got the three counts so yeah pete dunn defeated tony d'angelo in the weaponized steel cage match like i said pretty good match i'll give that match three out of five stars but up next we're going to see toxic attraction defending their nxt women's tag team championships against per se uh parada and indy hartwell up next on NXT Vengeance Day. So yeah. Uh, so far the first match was pretty good. And then we're going to get into the second match. So yeah. I'll see you guys later until then.